Why is this out again? Stay tuned, I'll tell you why this happened and how to avoid it. That's a good one! Yeah, <laughs> All right, YouTube, welcome back. This is definitely, definitely not the video I had in mind. When I said in my previous one, I'll of course film and update you on the Mallory Park testing thingy bob. As I mentioned before, the input shaft snapped on the gearbox. So we got a new one, we assembled it all back, everything was fine and peachy and I've done a few upgrades. Yeah. This is what happened. Like beyond fucked it. I don't even know what to tell you guys. That was some dramatic explosion. Yeah, it's wonderful at Mallory, isn't it? Guys, I, I don't really know what to say. Essentially, the gearbox exploded. I'll show you as soon as we arrive, but yeah, just enjoying some scenery on the grass. Mallory is beautiful, by the way. I think I've done a total of five laps, maybe six. Oh. Moments later. Yeah. Side, isn't it? What a side. Um, I don't know. The bell housing has cracks. So I don't know what I don't know what caused it. I have my suspicion it could be the clutch plate disintegrated and then send it sideways or whatever. Um, no oil has been lost, so the main housing is still intact, I hope. Um, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, um, I don't know if I even want to go and film the other guys. I'm a bit discouraged now, to be honest with you, so... The next morning... <sighs> Pretty pissed off at myself, to be honest with you. I know there will be haters, there will be people, there will be everyone just saying why or why did you not replace the flywheel bolts? I keep asking myself the same question. I don't know. It's just one of those things where you like, whatever, let's just reuse them, it should be fine. I've, I, I don't know. I've never experienced this problem before, but it is what it is. Flywheel bolt snapped, all seven of them. So we still have them in the, in the crank. So I'm gonna have to retract those, see if this is actually still salvageable. There was a bit of a fire explosion in the inside and stuff. And here's the box. This is what happened. So, 
as you can see it literally acted as a big angle grinder cutting groove all the way around it in all honesty I'm obviously hoping that the internals my dog box internals are still okay and it's still salvageable but with the amount of really good luck I had lately I'm not holding my hopes currently the flywheel is wedged sort of because it's obviously on the still the clutch is still there and it's just wedged to the one one side or loop sided so I cannot I cannot take it off so I'm gonna cut some of the pieces of the box out of casing so I can rotate it to free it up so I can take it off take the box apart have a look what's inside if it's any salvageable I'll probably obviously put it in the lathe the main shaft try and spin it at slow speed and check the tolerance if it's bent or not if it's not bent then in a yeah best case scenario i need a new casing assemble it all back together new flywheel bolts always replace flywheel bolts unless they're rp bolts that's probably why i don't know why i just i don't know they look like rp they were black and everything and i've just don't i i know i'm already kicking myself for this but it's literally taking it took me one hour 20 minutes yesterday to take the engine out completely which is actually good going considering i have to drain well not actually drain partially drain coolant partially drain fuel uh, partially drain uh, oil disconnect the lines because of the dry sump and everything else but it is what it is it is what it is uh, it's a bit of a carnage it's very discouraging but yeah for those of you who are secretly hoping oh he's gonna break it he's gonna give up uh first dibs on this and that and wing and stuff no we will carry on we will fix it this is not going to stop us on the journey of building the fastest um the, the car is capable i already know that we just need to oh, i don't know suggest me something maybe i I'm, I'm doing it completely wrong maybe the dog box from a volkswagen is really not what i need I mean obviously sequential is good but they cost money and I've yet to come across of the one that can actually handle 500 newtons continuously on the front wheel drive chassis that is within this whatever I don't know if you have any ideas please do let me know but I think I'm gonna crack on opening this box and see what's on the inside souvenirs yay all seven of them on the inside yeah it's totally fucked isn't it the flywheel I need a new ring if I were to reuse the old one it's a little bit battered uh, yeah clutch plate that's damaged the clutch disc may be reusable clearly not the the box itself the good news is that the shaft rotates like it was rotating before I will need to check the tolerances but it doesn't appear to be bent I don't know what to say guys I'm sorry <laughs> oh yeah we'll need to check everything else but yeah looking not so great but kind of promising ish many tic tacs later so the box is apart i don't know what to tell you all of this seems to be fine but again i would need to check it maybe obviously take it apart but no teeth are broken everything seems to be okay ah oh, another really bad thing
that's my prank. Yeah. I think it's a 197 prank. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is damaged. I don't know how to fix it. Take it out, put it on a lathe, smooth it, or buy a new one. Yeah. That is the big problem. And obviously, if you take it out, you need the new bolts and bearings and all that stuff and seals. So I think it's safe to say that I got my money money is worth out of this one. There's a lot of damage. <sighs> Anyways, guys, another short one here. I know, sucks. I didn't want to make this video. Um, I do have a few other fabrication videos that I still need to edit and a few other ones, so there'll still be content. But for now, I need to make a list. Actually, I kind of made the list already. Those are just the big bits. So, thank you very much for watching. Like this video. Comment. Please do let me know what you, your thoughts are. What gearbox I can use. If you have 197 crank, ping me. If you have the box, ping me. If you have sequential, if you want to sponsor me. Also, I'll leave a link to donations. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.